Okay, so it kind of looks like a mess, but there's something happening here. So I am going to use up, this is melted lard. I fried up some chicken in it the other night, and so I won't be reusing it for frying, and I won't be using it for soap, but I hate to just toss it. So we're going to reuse it and make some flock blocks for the chickens. Uh, today is the first very cold day of winter, uh, a high of 12 today, and so I thought the girls would like a nice treat. So I also have a kitchen freezer, or a kitchen, kitchen freezer, of course there's a freezer in my kitchen, I meant a freezer trash can. So it's just food scraps that I keep in the freezer for either making um, making broth with because even if we threw it in the compost it wouldn't decompose so I figured we'd use it so most of this is just potato skins some vegetable scraps red cabbage um, so I boiled it off because I didn't want to give them the raw potato skins so I did boil them and now I'm just going to dice them into tiny little pieces I have oats and oyster shells that I'm going to add to it. So I'm going to get this diced up and then I'll show you what we're doing next. Alright, so I have my vegetable pieces all chopped up. I put the fat in there. Um, I'm going to add some oats, oyster shells. I might actually add some raisins or cranberries in here too just to help kind of round it out. Um, I haven't decided, but I'll get it all mixed up and then we will get them formed so they could solidify. Okay, so I really just eyeballed this. I mean, I didn't use measurements. Uh, the feeding instruction on the oyster shells did say a 20 to 1 ratio if you were mixing it with their feed. Um, so I just kind of eyeballed it, you know. And then when it came to how much of the oats to put in, when I was done mixing it, if the lard was still dripping off the spoon, I assumed that that wasn't enough. So I put some more in. So now I'm going to place this into here. Um, now I've seen people use all kinds of stuff, uh, rabbit pellets, you know, other types of feed, bird seed. We do have rabbit pellets, um, but those are for the rabbits. And so I just decided to use up some kitchen scraps and some other things that we have an abundance of. Um, and we'll see how the girls like it. So I'm going to get this in here before it totally hardens and I can't work with it anymore. So we'll come back. Okay, say hi girls. Hello beautifuls. It's quite cold. Our high today is 12 degrees. So we are going to try our freshly made suet cakes for the girls and see how they like them. Hi girls, you're so pretty. And she is a beast. So I set up some nest boxes for them. But uh, look how big this girl is. How is she going to fit in there? So I'm thinking maybe our idea for the bowls are not, or the bowls, for the buckets are not going to be big enough. Okay. So, let me pause this. Okay. Here you go, girls. I'm just going to kind of toss it for you. All right. Have at it. Give it a try. They're like, what is this? Go check it out. No one's interested. Really? Oh, there we go. Someone's interested. No.
Wow. That was excitement for nothing. I've been more interested in picking my long johns. You gonna try it out? Come on, girls. Give it a try. Is it because it's in the bedding? Hmm. Wow. <laughs> this seems like an epic failure. Yeah, but someone might be interested in the nest box. Or not. Wow, you guys don't like anything. Someone's trying it. Well, I guess all it takes is for it to be out of the bedding. Maybe it's too close in color. And that's why they weren't going for it. But they seem to be interested in it now, which makes me feel better. I thought, wow, you did all that work and you guys don't like it. Jeez. Thanks for nothing, chicas. But they seem to like it. Yay. So I'll bring the other one out.